Hello guys, Anon42 again, and I'm gonna continue on with the Super Paper Mario stuff, and we're almost at Chapter 4, so what you're gonna want to do is go into 3D with Mario, as always, to find the next Heart Pillar. And where would this Heart Pillar be next? Well, let's look back here, and you'll notice that these pillars are here. Now, what does that remind you of? I would think that it would remind you of like when we were underwater and had to stomp on some of these pillar things and even when you stomp on them when they're in the ground what do you know they pop up now the one I just step I just pounded on or whatever you term you want to use I wouldn't use that one you are gonna wanna step on that one and this one and what happens goes on 3D like and it creates the next heart pillar yeah simple right and I'm gonna go back so yeah stomp on this one and then stomp on this one and now we can put the next pure heart in and it's all fancy and soon it'll do the same exact thing as always go back in time or something like that and it creates a door out of nowhere cool never gets old and I like the music when it comes in too that's really cool everything about this game is so awesome now all we have to do is go back I'm gonna use carry because he goes faster Actually, I technically could just, you know, cut to when we get to the door, but what fun is that? I don't like doing that for some reason. Maybe it just makes more work, or something like that. No idea. I just don't swing that way. Well, I probably will, like, later on, when I'm more experienced at this stuff, but why change something that isn't broken, right? And here is the next door. Now we can head on in to the next world. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and the Mario gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them both. What awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new, far-out trials. Yays. Da -na -na. Into outer space. Totally wouldn't have seen this coming. Guess I'm really slow on my reading now. I should probably work on that. <clears throat> well, that's a waste of making stars out of outlines just to turn them all black in the end to make space and fancy stuff hmm stars everywhere I believe we're in outer space almost certainly Mario is surprised oh my god what troubles you Mario ah yes of course we seem to be lacking air you need that don't you oh oh gracious me what am I to do um well let me see. Well then, yada yada yada. No! Well, I'm pretty sure Tippy wouldn't talk like that, but I'm just weird. I'm just weird when it comes to that. So, yays. Let's keep going. Hey, please wake up. Mario's awake. OMG. You're alright, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a grammatical error. Ask Merlin's advice. So we're asking his advice? Who's his advice? But who cares? I'm just being picky. Or I read it wrong. Wrong. I need to learn how to speak. Yay! Just like the me speak on Animal Crossing. 
I don't care what you say, Animal Crossing is awesome. Oh ho, that was cer certainly quick work. You've already found the next pure heart. No, Merwin. That door went straight into outer space. Space? Oh ho, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. And I just so happen to... Oh, blast it! What now? Oh, double blast it all. I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space and I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. It seemed more convenient than recycling it. It's like giving away candy. <laughs> Yays. I say that a lot. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Okay, we have to go find a little boy and do things to get a f well, something like a space helmet back. I wonder what that could be. And apparently I can skip those like elevator elevator like um what's the word? Oh, screw it. Just talk to this little boy here after going up the elevator. Huh? Did Merlin give me something like a helmet? You means this fishbowl? <laughs> means, ah. Uh, yeah, I kept, I kept Captain Gills, kept it. <laughs> Captain Gills here in a cup, but then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. Thing is, now the captain got so big, the bowl got too small for him. Hey, I know, maybe you could find a new place to set Captain Gills free for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you gets the fishbowl. That's good, huh? Hmm, but where can he go? I wanna know what he'll... I wanna knows that he'll be nearby at all times. You gots to help me. And then you get a goldfish bowl. And now we must release Captain Gills from his captivity in a fishbowl that is way too small for him. And so where would we release this epic epic goldfish also known as Captain Gills trademark well keep going down the elevators and you will find something I've always wondered about that why would there be elevators that I don't don't talk to me don't talk to me I hate you stop saying stuff Okay, why would there be elevators that just randomly go down to floors of a town? It's very futuristic. So, you go up to this pond, and it says you can release Captain Gills, and he will just jump in. And now the fishbowl is empty, and we can use it as a space helmet. And now we can return to space using a fishbowl as a helmet for some odd reason without air tanks yay the game doesn't make sense and I'm saying yay a lot it's because I'm happy say yays when you're happy it always makes you feel even better jumpy jumpy okay up the ladder up the ladder type elevator thingy shut up I don't know what I'm saying Anyways, you can't skip that animation. I finally figured out the word, the elevator animation, something like that. Now we go back through the door, and it goes back to the chapter 4-1 thing, but it doesn't say the name of the chapter. Through the door, you're not wearing your helmet, but wait. Do you want to use the helmet? Of course I do. Do I like breathing? Yes, I do. 
Well, what do you think? Can you breathe now? Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in this sea of stars. And... This place is weird because you can go up and down... And all that other stuff. And when you go into 3D, you can only... Like, move in this, like, latitude that you are already in. And someone is saying SOS. I wonder who it could be. Let's use Tippy, the, I guess, not so useless pixel. And there's something in here, and I will reveal it. And what is inside? Well, we'll find out next time. I'll see you guys later.